Welcome back everyone. For the last part of pagination, we're going to learn how to configure the page size for our React table. By default, the page size is set to 10. However, when you're dealing with lots of data, you might often want to view more number of rows at the same time. With React table, we can achieve that using the set page size function and the page size property. So back in VS Code, from the table instance, the structure set page size. And from the table state, the structure page size. Now in the JSX, after the last span tag, we can include a dropdown with certain predefined page size values that the user can select from. So select value is equal to page size on change is equal to event set page size number event dot target dot value and as options let's allow the user to set the page size to 10 or 25 or 50 so 10 comma 25 comma 50 which is an array dot map for each page size we're going to render an option tag on the option key is equal to page size value is equal to page size and the label is going to be show followed by page size again if you now format it Save the file and take a look at the browser. We have our select drop down. And I can now set the page size to 25, which now implies 200 by 25. So we have eight pages and we can view 25 rows at a time. If I click on show 50, we have four pages of 50 rows each. Pretty simple if you think about it. I do have to mention though, just like filtering, you might often want to work with server-side pagination so that you're not loading hundreds of thousands of rows all at once. Based on your data size, make a call whether to go with client-side pagination or server-side pagination. So that is about pagination with React Table. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.